I think Snow was the thought that got changed from don't mean nothing. It was don't mean nothing for about six months. Don't mean nothing was the catchphrase in now. It meant it was applied to everything. Uh, your buddy just got his head cut off. You, you know, you just had a you just had a torch of village and you killed everybody in it, right? And uh, it don't mean nothing, it don't mean nothing. But it does mean something. And we were kidding ourselves into thinking that it didn't mean anything. But the danger part of, of that is that you, there's a line you can cross, and if you cross that line, you can't come back. And I watch guys do that. And right in the middle of all of this, don't mean nothing, I get a bumper sticker from my cousin, says Think Snow. Takes me back to an event that I connected with my dad in the middle of a blizzard in Buffalo, New York, right? And immediately, I'm, you know, outside of, outside of the city of Khantum on the Cambodian border in the middle of a firefight, and I look at my M16, and I'm thinking about me and my dad redeeming a 56 Plymouth in a blizzard. But that was the moment that I connected with myself. I connected with my dad. I connected with the world. And I didn't want to lose that. And I saw it leaving me. I felt it leaving me. I felt the don't mean nothing starting to take me over to the place where I couldn't come back. And think snow grabbed me, man. It grabbed me and pulled me back. And, and, and that, those two words brought me back to a place where I could feel, I could touch, I, I could have emotion. And we can't live without that. We can't live without that kind of passion. None of us can live without that kind of connection. You know, the connection with ourselves first and connection with the people around us. So, you know, that scenario changed for me. Thank God that it did. And I use that kind of thinking. I use that rationale for the remainder of my time in Nam and realized that it would work every time I would purposely apply it. You know, I'd think about what my mom taught me about little things about straightening out my toys and making sure my bedroom was straight and stuff like that. And those were redeeming thoughts for me in the middle of a jungle cleaning my M16. And they related. They actually related. My dad trying to teach me how to drive a car, telling me everybody on the road is stupid. Right? But you're not stupid. you got to drive around all these stupid people. But you're, you, you know what you're doing. Well, guess what? It turned out to be the same thing when I was walking point. I got a bunch of stupid people around here. I got a stupid first lieutenant. I might even had a stupid president and a stupid Congress that put me there. But by God, I'm not stupid, and I'm going to get out of this jungle. So the, the, the thoughts that would, you know, kind of overwhelm guys, and I watched this happen. I watched guys hug trees and flip in a firefight when you're losing more than you're winning. But those, 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 re, those little thoughts that I had, those little snippets, whatever they were, I don't know what you want to call them, but they pulled me back into a reality where I could think and, 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 and you know, walk and chew gum at the same time while I'm, while, I'm, while I'm walking point and not go crazy when I shoot somebody. And uh, because you can go crazy when you shoot somebody. It's not normal to take a human life. You know, we, we, there's a threshold there. There's, there's, there's something that happens when you take a human life. And uh, anyway, that's why, that's, that's, that's how the book took on a life of its own. 
And that's why it's, it, I, I believe it's going to be meaningful to young people, teenagers. It's going to be meaningful to people who are in the military and, uh, and, and uh, going to be in harm's way, ready, ready to deploy. Uh, uh, and, and, and people and guys and, and, and you know, women who have uh, had similar experiences, combat situations where they've had to kill people. And uh, who knows? I mean, I, I, hope, I hope it turns out to be a message in a bottle that, that, that finds its way into the, into the laps of people who are going to be in those positions.